it and it will be just on one page. Okay. So even if I don't share it at the moment, you could still follow what we are discussing. Okay. So welcome back for the second part of the marketing planning process that we are discussing. We want to continue from where we ended, where we asked the question, how do we get there? Okay, First, uh, where do we want to go? It's to reach that destination, to reach that uh, point of our objectives that we want to achieve. Now, how can we get there? Okay, and we're calling this as marketing strategies. So, uh, the first tool that you're going to use there uh, is uh, popularly known as Ansof Growth Matrix. Ansof Growth Matrix. It's A N S O F F. Ansof Growth Matrix. Ansof was a professor who developed this model that we are using. Okay, if you put that one, you Mr. Can, can you just repeat uh, the same thing at answer of what growth matrix? Growth matrix, but people just abbreviate it as answer of matrix. Okay, basically, it helps us to see how can a, a company or organization grow. Yeah, given two variables, and the variables he looked at were market and the product. So flip your page, and then I want you to draw the triangle. No, 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 not the triangle, a rectangle. A rectangle. Now, in the rectangle, you are going to create four matrices. Four matrices. Okay, what does it mean? Uh, inside that uh, uh, inside that uh, box, you put it like a plus. So you're going to have on the top inside. You're going to have four apartments now. Okay, if you've done that, simple. On top of that uh, rectangle, put a uh, market. Then on the left side, you put product for that rectangle. Okay, if you've done that, that's good. On the left corner, left corner of the rectangle, put a uh, old, O L D. Then on the right side, you put it new, N-E-W, okay? Let's go to the side of where you've written the product. On the top side, you also put the old, O-L-D, and down in that rectangle, you put new. So I'll explain what that means. Sir, now. kindly repeat that because I think you've confused me a bit. You said on the left we put product, and then down on the left we put old, mm. and then on the right we put new. What does the other old come in? No, on the on the product side, you know, product side is a vertical line am i right good. it's a vertical line no yes good so if it's a vertical line on top of that vertical line you should put odd you remember it's a box that you have drawn you've drawn a box yes good so on top of that box sorry somebody can mute there Mike?
John Nyerenda, can you mute your mic? John Nyerenda, can you mute your mic? Okay. So, in that box that you have drawn, on top of uh, left top, you put old. That's where the product is. Then down, you're going to put new. Then you remember on the horizontal on top, where you had to put market, on the left side you had to put old, and on the right side you had to put new. Good. Now what this means is this. You have uh, old product or existing product, and you are operating in the old market or existing market. That's what old stands for. The question is, how can you grow? Suppose, remember you to put your marketing objective, and your marketing objective says uh, you want to grow by 10%. The, the question we're going to ask is, how can you then grow? Because you have the same product, old or existing product, and you are in the same market. Okay? Now, uh, what then you put is that you can grow by a strategy called market penetration. So inside the box there, the first matrix, you put market penetration. So market penetration is between old market and old product. Excuse me, yeah? sir. Yes, please. How do we make the the, 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 the the matrices inside the box? Are we also supposed to draw four boxes inside, or we just write market penetration anyway? Sunny, Sunny, you have a rectangular box. Inside, you put a plus. Then you have four matrices. Okay. So the first corner, matrix, you said market penetration. Okay? Meaning, within the old market and with the existing product, if you are to grow to your 10% that you desire in the next period, you must penetrate the market. Okay? The next question you're going to ask is then, how do I penetrate the market? Two approaches there to help you to penetrate the market. One is you get some customers from your competitors. You get sorry, customers sir. from competitors. Yes? Sorry, sir. What did you say market penetration is? Sorry, I joined a bit late. Sorry, sir. Now, listen. After you've done that, then you can ask me later. So, you will penetrate by getting customers from uh, other competitors. That is one way. So attract them to come to buy your product and leave the, the competitors. Another way is the same customers that you have, you encourage them to buy more. So if they were buying one, you encourage them to buy two. That way you are penetrating the market. Okay? That's what that strategy means. Then you can grow to your 10% that you are looking for. Sir, sorry, Good. I've just joined the class. Have you just started? Why? If you have just joined, then listen. Okay. Sit down and listen. What will that do with you, if you, you whether I've started now or I started a long time? Let's move on to the next apartment. Okay? Which is, you have the old product, then you take it to the new market. Remember the right corner you had said new. So you're taking it to the right market, to the new market. The strategy there we are going to use is called market development. 
That's what you should put in that box. Market development. Some people abbreviate it as MB, MD. The other one was abbreviated by uh, some people say MP. Okay. So now, how do you develop the market? Two things again you got to do. Either you begin to export the product, maybe outside the country, or uh, you will be able to uh, you will be able to um, go into the same country where you are. You go to service other markets which you are not servicing. You begin to service other markets which you are not servicing. So two things. Export meaning outside your country, out of the border. But the second one is within the country, but you begin to service other segments of the market. That way you are developing the market. Is that okay? Then you develop the market. Let's go to another apartment. Another apartment is a... Uh, another apartment is that uh, you have a new product. You have a new product. Where this is where we said the product, then we said the new. Now you have a new product. Now with a new product, you're going to take the new product into the existing or old market. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Just yes, a please. concern. Uh, could you maybe use a board or maybe you draw for us on a paper? Because sometimes you might get, we might be trying to get the right thing, but we're drawing the wrong things. So maybe if you were to demonstrate for us on a piece of paper or on the board, with what the, how the box is supposed to look like. Okay, can you Google and look for yes. answer of matrix? Get answer of matrix, I give you two minutes. You get it very easily on your computer. Just type in and say answer of matrix. And you're going to get the diagram that I'm describing. Because you're failing to, I don't know why you can fail to imagine what I'm talking about or drawing what I'm talking about. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Okay, so we've got two minutes. What's the correct spelling again for answer? A N S O double F. Is that okay? You found it, Susan? Yes, sir. Good. And everyone else, they found the answer of matrix? No. Uh, look, uh, look for it. Uh, type answer of matrix. Oh, I, I can hope you send the diagram in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, you can do that. To those that... Uh, I cannot manage to to say it to see it. That would be kind of you. As as he's uh, sending that one, 
there's going to be another one and can somebody also google and find bcg b c g matrix it's quite similar to this one but you need to have that diagram then you, you can be is it can be easy for you to follow susan it has not yet arrived up to now i've i've posted it where in the whatsapp group uh, which is BBA triple two marketing? Yes. Yeah, I, I I don't know. Maybe it's my. Oh, sorry, I, I have not put up my internet. Yeah, this first thing. Okay, so just just a minute. I also want to see it so that we can. Good. We need only one. Oh yeah, BCG, also somebody has done that one, that is good. So the answer of that's the way it looks like exactly, and that's the way I was explaining. Uh -huh. And I hope people have uh, gotten that and drawn exactly what is being put the, here. So. Sorry again, I'm, I'm just gone again. So, as I was saying, <clears throat> I was excuse me, <clears throat> this has been a bit uh, transposed. If you saw, you saw, you see this, they have put a uh, product on top and the market on the sides. It doesn't matter, okay. So if you put it, do the other way, it's exactly what I was explaining. <clears throat> so for easy, let's see, follow what is already here on the diagram. But for those that have already uh, drawn what I was explaining, don't get confused, it's one and the same thing. Okay, so we said the, if you bring a product in, you take the product, existing product, into a new market that is a market development but when you take a, a new product into existing market then that is product development now so i hope you can you can do that product development okay and it simply means you know you 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 you, you improve on the product Maybe you improve some features or some performance and the people look at it and say, wow, it's like a new product. That way you begin to see that the people begin to buy more of that product. That is the way you are going to grow and achieve your, uh, your objective. The last one is where you have a new product and you take it to the new market. That one is called diversification. And diversification also is in two forms. One is called the related diversification, and the other one is called unrelated diversification. Related is where you, you are not living completely from the industry where you are operating. And maybe I could give example, uh, think about uh, with the boom pest or Boom, boom products, they add to it things like uh, uh, boom liquid, they add to it like soaps and things like that. So they're within the same industry, but they are bringing in new, developing new products or innovating new products in this case. Innovating new products. That is related. Unrelated is where, look at Semu Trade King, they have moved away from the industry, consumer goods industry, and gone straight, gone away from there to steel. You know, they are the, I'm told the owners of that steel in, in, in Kafue, 
they go into mining and steel. That is totally different industry from the one that they are used to, or that, that we know them for. That's how we can use this matrix of answer. So you're going to say, how can we grow? Or how can we get there? It's by using, adapting one of the two or uh, one of the four or two or three of these. Or some companies have tried to do all of this. And the Trade Kings is one of those that really has tried to do all of these four strategies at the same time. When you begin to think of the kind of business they're dealing in. So that is a tool you can use. Let's look at the second tool which has been posted here. Uh, it's called the uh, BCG. But uh, in here you have seen it's called the growth share matrix. Growth share matrix. Yeah. But it's popularly known as BCG. BCG stands for Boston Consultant Groups. The consult, uh, the uh, Boston Consultant Group is a group of uh, professional academicians who came up with this matrix. Now let's look at the matrix together. I hope uh, you are seeing it on your WhatsApp. Okay. Again, they have said uh, on the left side, according to them, is about uh, market growth rate. Then on top there is the relative market share. Now, this model was generated by the use of cash. Cash that you can invest and cash that you can generate. The idea was to find or to look at the position of your product into the, on the market. You know, uh, like any other organization, it can occupy a number of different positions. For example, you can be a market leader, you can be a follower, you can be a challenger, uh, you can be, uh, take any of those positions if you like. Yeah? Now, same with the product. Products can occupy positions on the market. And these are the ones which have been put here. How did they determine their position? As I've said, they used the, the model of cash. How much cash does this product bring onto the market? And how much cash do we spend or invest in ensuring that we generate that cash? So it's from that angle that they, they, they came up with the, uh, this model. Now, uh, let's look at it. You're going to see that in terms of growth, uh, there's high and there's low. Same with market share, there's high and low. Now, when you, a product or an organization is in a market which is growing fast, okay, or high growth, has a high growth, and its market share is high at the same time, that product is called star. Yeah, please, in the, in, the, in the exam, don't draw like it's drawn here. Don't draw these things, no. They're, they're just using them as a symbol. Just write the word star, S-T-R. And that star, even though they put a symbol of star like this, it doesn't mean it's a star in the sky, no. It simply means famous. You are popular. That product is popular. Now, because it's popular, its cash generated is high. But at the same time, its investment to generate that cash is equally high. So what happens is the cash surplus is low, is not as, as much, okay? For you to appreciate that point, to think about uh, people who are famous, who are star. Or if you want to, uh, you want to, you are aspiring to become an MP, for example, you become popular. But to maintain that popularity, 
you love to spend and people anybody will be just coming in and they can even tell you stories and what do you do you just spend on them because you want to maintain that now you still have surplus that's why you find that uh, those who become mps or well, in the past unless they have stolen after leaving that uh, position of being an mp most likely they have become like one of us they become poor again why because that spent more money that's what it means to be to be a star think about the musicians that you know who are stars footballers that you know that are stars yeah when they stop investing in their talent or they stop doing what they're doing you've noticed how they end up so that's what could happen also to the product of this kind which is a star okay let's move on to the next one it's where the market growth is high but your market share is low this one has two names the first one is what you are seeing there question mark so it's called question mark why question mark because you are asking yourself why is it that uh, we are in uh, a growing market and yet you get it eh? and yet our market share is low there must be something wrong so you're asking yourself the question why that's why there's that question mark the other name for it is called the problem child problem child it means this child two years five years down the line you keep on pumping uh, and the child is not growing that is stunted then that child is a problem that's what they mean by problem child okay i hope you you followed that that one because generally it's supposed sir, to... sorry to cut you okay um what does how can you define market share for example uh five percent three percent ten percent yeah that becomes your market share can you define it as um maybe mm -hmm. how many um i don't know how to put it into words but like how many consumers are willing mm -hmm. to purchase your product maybe like how much influence you have over the market? Is that the market share? Usually when you're talking about market share, is in the, no wonder, have you seen it here, they've used the word relative market share. It's in relation to the competitors or other players on that market. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if you just say how many customers are willing to buy, they'll buy from whoever is a player in that market. Have you seen that? They will buy from anyone. But now you, you are interested to see out of all these, uh, these customers who are willing to buy, out of all these customers who are willing to buy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Ask what is our share now? Meaning, mm -hmm. how many percent, uh, how many of those customers could we get to be ours or we are going to have as ours? The ones that we have as mm -hmm. ours. Now, instead of going to that trouble in, take, in terms of looking at all of this then they use uh, what as we have said there they use it, cash flow mm -hmm. yeah approach yeah mm -hmm. some people even one of the, the challenges of this they said no it's a mathematical it's a, actually from the accounting point of view not uh, as marketing point of view no actually you can use it you can use it. It's a very interesting and very nice uh, matrix to help you to do your strategies that you want to come up with. Okay, I hope you that clarif clarified that. Yes, Let's sir. Thank to, you. You're welcome. Let's go to the next next other apartment on your left there. You're going to see that uh, the market is not growing. Uh, the growth of the market is low, which means this particular market now is mature. Uh, it's mature or 
it's leveling off. People have come to know the product much more. Hence, you're going to spend less in terms of investing. You're already popular anyway. So now, your market share is high in this market which is not growing. Yeah. The position is called cash cow. Yeah, that's why they put that symbol of a dollar and a cow. So it's called, called cash cow. Uh, the original term which used to be for this one, it was called milking the cow. It came from the concept that uh, you don't have to invest a lot uh, because you're already popular, but people will just buy your product much more. And uh, because of that, this position on the market actually entails you have a huge surplus of cash. Huge surplus of cash. Yeah, no wonder they call it cash cow. These others, like the question mark, by the way, maybe there is, you, you, you pumping in money, but you are not getting anything. Maybe it's almost zero, zero. Your surplus of cash is almost zero zero. Yeah, then you know that uh, uh, this product of ours is good. This problem. Yeah. The last one is whereby your market is not growing; it's low, and your market share also is low. That product has got that symbol. What? What? What is that uh, position? Of the product. Who can contribute something? What could be that symbol? It has gone to the dogs. <laughs> yes. You may say that. It's called dog. Why dog? It's simply because you can, you can try to pump in some money all you're getting is a deficit or losses. So you go to start thinking, what could I do with such a product? Yeah, what should I do with such a product? So now, have you noticed the, the last question I've asked is to say, what should you do with that product? What this means is that this matrix does not give you specifically like uh, what strategies to do. It does not uh, pinpoint the strategies, but it provokes you and me by putting the positions like this of a particular product. And we tried it at Cavendish, by the way, where we were putting different courses and we were looking at some courses and some courses were classified as this is a dog kind of a course. Now, you've got to decide as management, what strategy can you want to employ? Because if I may ask you, which one would you deem as an ideal situation within this uh, BCG matrix? If you were a manager of a particular uh, company, organization, which one would you term as an ideal? Sir. Yes, mother. I feel like I would choose um, cash cows mm -hmm. because it's it's somewhat stable because you know that with this product you still have money coming in. There's no, there's you don't have uncertainty about it. You don't have to think to say, okay, maybe this could go wrong. It's a stable um, generation. It has stable generation cash generation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now, let's assume others might choose others. That doesn't matter. Now, let's assume when you analyze your product, you put a position of your product, you find actually that your product is a dog. You see, eh? Now, the next thing now you're going to say is how... Mr. Mapala, could you, could you mute your mic? Mr. Mapala, could you mute your mic? Okay, I was about to make a contribution. It's fine then. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we are getting the echo. When I'm done, you can unmute and yes. say you want to say something. No problem. 
let me just finish eh? uh, now you've noticed that your product is at a dog position the question it provokes is how can we move from this dog position to a cash cow position which we feel is a uh, is an ideal position now to answer the how to move from dog to cash cow are uh, what are called the strategies and unfortunately or oh, is it fortunate this on its own these people did not give exactly what position or what direction you should take as a company now it's you because you are learned then you can begin to combine with other tools so that it can help you <clears throat> to see how you're going to move the product from one position to another for example another one if it's in a question mark or problem child you wanted to move it diagonally to the cash cow for example how are we going to move it to that cash cow position that's what brings out the issue of strategies so you're going to see that uh, this model uh, in most cases is never used in isolation you find yourself using it uh, together with others to help you to do that yes mr mapala your, your contribution what you wanted to say now yes you mentioned that uh, you asked us to to refer to or to uh, yes, to refer to an ideal situation. So I wanted to, my contribution is that um, uh, on a Zambian mm -hmm. scene, I can equate that to uh, to the mining sector. Okay. The mining sector, we have, uh, we have restructured it. Nothing is happening. The share prices are not moving. Copper prices are not going up. We have privatized it. Nothing is happening. Uh, it's not give, giving us a good returns. Mm -hmm. so that can be an, an ideal situation that i thought about well you you're giving us a scenario where you are saying now okay if i may ask you in the, looking at these matrices where could you place that industry of copper in zambia is it a star is it a question mark or problem child <laughs> because the way you have described it's like it's a problem child or is it a cash cow or is it a dog where could you place it i would <laughs> say it's a dog because we've tried everything. to we have tried to <laughs> run it ourselves yes we have tried to run it ourselves we have failed we have gone in we have given it to the owners yeah. anglo-american yeah. they failed uh are hoping that you can get a lot of investment uh and to create jobs that has failed you have now think about uh, privatizing it into private uh, hands including zambians themselves mm. as a management buyout mm -hmm. uh, we don't see anything coming out of it so it's dogs <laughs> just on just on you are from you look like you are from the mines too because of that caterpillar in your picture do you agree to that uh, what mr I... Pala said no that's uh, quite wrong the problem is you haven't structured the way you suppose as a country to benefit from the industry the industry okay. itself is making a lot of cash yeah it's they viable a lot of cash. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very viable but you mm -hmm. don't just have the means of probably uh assessing how much these guys are making and you don't have yeah. the means to correct your taxes mm. so i think i agree with you mm. yeah so for me, instead of a dog, maybe it's not a, a dog, I would put it maybe under question mark. Because I will ask myself questions like that in relation to what Mr. Mutala says. Why then are we not getting what we are supposed to get? What is it that we are not doing much better? Oh, well, there's so many debates over this issue anyway. And there's so many, but don't despair. Uh, it's these debates that one day we'll be able to find a solution to, to them. And the solution is coming sooner. That, that much I can promise you. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mapala, don't, don't call it a dog now. Because, you know, when a product reaches the stage of a dog, 
And that's why these people called it, uh, nicknamed it as a dog. You know, a dog, we usually, a dog is a dog and is a dog and it will remain a dog and it will always be a dog. So it means it has to be staying outside now. Or you are even uh, almost discarded. It's not the dogs that you have now where you have, you, you have given them even shampoo, you even give them their bedrooms and things like that. No, the kind of dog here we're talking about is the, is the village kind of a dog, which is, it has, it just have to get the, the leftovers after you've eaten well yourself. So <laughs> this, this kind of thing, I would call it maybe question, question mark or a problem child. Maybe the minds are a problem to us. We have not yet gotten the way to really uh, find a way of how we can manage it ourselves to gain fully from it. I don't know what you think. Yes, uh, I, I had this to say. When you look at the, the, the copper prices, that is copper prices in terms of uh, the market, you find that uh, there, is, uh, there hasn't been any significant rise in terms of pricing. Mm. But look at uh, the of production. As we diminish our resources, it has been very expensive to extract that ore from the ground. Mm. That's mm. point number one. Point mm. number two, copper itself has been replaced by so many other 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 metals that mm. perform efficiently um, uh, as opposed in the past it was doing very well in the past because at the time uh, mm. r&d was an indication that uh, copper was the best um, it was a, a, a the best a product at the, at the time uh, in mm. terms of uh, engineering works and all uh, today there are a lot of substitutes that, to an extent that uh, you don't need copper, you don't need to sweat, you can get mm. other elements and, uh, and be able to use it in terms of copper. So there's no drive to actually get copper. Uh, it can make you sweat so that you, you are desperate for it. So okay, those sorry. are some of the directions that I have. Yes. Okay. If that's the case, then we, if we are to use ANSOF, then we can go, we need to go for diversification. Uh, as a strategy, if we are to combine it with ANSOF. Let's try to diversify as a country. That will help us. Uh, what we're passing, passing through, we can you know, also foresee happening to those countries that are selling only oil. What will happen when most machines will stop using petroleum products? Yeah, and we are going towards that. The substitutes are coming up. No need, cars will no longer be using petrol and things like that. Cars will be using uh, other means of energy. Can you imagine that? So that will also happen, like the way he has explained, why copper prices and everything seem to be going down and down. Yes. Do you remember talking about this when we were doing um, Porter's Five Forces? One of them was substitute is a threat. No doubt about that. And uh, we can relate it to what he is explaining in terms of uh, copper in our case. Good. Let's do the last, uh, the last one, the last two there. Again, do a matrix of, I hope now people can draw exactly because you have seen how to draw the four matrix. There are other matrices under strategy, by the way, but we want to look at all of them. We we'll just do three. So put it again like... Uh, so before we move on... Yes? So before we move on, what did we say how we can how we can improve our product development? On product development? Eh? Uh, yeah, we, and the answer. Are, yeah, we said uh, uh, there you can improve in terms of feature and the performance, for example of a product, okay. some features and performance of the product. You can be able to improve in that aspect. Is that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, improvement actually simply means you are not totally coming up with a new product. It's not an innovation, but you're improving the features, you're improving maybe on quality, you're improving on performance, you're improving on the outlook of the product. So that uh, people can even say, hmm, this is a, it's a new, like, it looks like a new product, or it's a new product, and yet it's actually the same. You've just made some improvement. Okay. okay.
yeah now let's look at the last one uh, i want you to do the 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 same matrix of four and then you are going to put a, you're going to call it toast toast is t o w s so you are going to have t in one uh, matrix and the o and then w and the s is that okay uh, if you have drawn that you will notice that uh, where have we derived that term toss who can guess quickly toss is coming from where SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis okay thank you so it simply then means that eh, all we are doing is eh, uh, trying to realign them now when you look at your your diagram then what we are saying is that uh, you must come up with the strategies that would help you for example let's say you are weak you are meaning uh, in terms of resources in terms of uh, systems in terms of your organization structure and whatever you are weak you don't have enough money you don't have enough manpower so you are weak a position so what do you do you want to move from being in a weaker position to a strong position so you put an arrow where you are saying you are moving from w to s w to s that movement is called convention you are converting weaknesses into strength that's a strategy so it's called convention strategy convention strategy you're converting weaknesses into strength now let's look at uh, take another uh, arrow or do another arrow from s you point the arrow to o okay meaning you are strong you are strong and then there are opportunities out there what do you do you match your strength to the opportunities so the strategy is called matching strategy so put that as a strategy called matching on that arrow matching strategy so you've got converting strategy you've got matching strategy okay you can also by the way put another arrow from t to o meaning it's possible sometimes to convert to convert threats into opportunities yeah for example now we have threats of covid eh? to some people it's an opportunity haven't you seen some people are making money out of it yeah so as a business when the threat of that kind like covid that has come in how can you turn that into an opportunity that's that what we call you are also converting so the one weakness to strength is converting threat to opportunity is also converting so it's a convention strategies those are convention strategies now suppose you are weak now we want an arrow which goes like from w to t you are weak and the threats are there what do you do three strategies you can take one is called avoidance strategy avoidance strategy number two is called the uh, bypass you bypass okay so you go somewhere else go and do business somewhere else don't confront it move out from that market and go and do another uh, invest into another market then number three is what you can call retreat retreat is where you come back and the whole idea of retreating is that you want to work on your weaknesses so that you become strong and you feel when you become strong you can now head on collision with that threat yeah that gives us an idea why we said we should do put a SWOT analysis in there because it helps us to 
come up with these strategies that we are mentioning now. Good. As I said, there are many other tools that you can use and you'll be coming across them in your studies as you move on. Yes? Sir, on the arrow from strength to opportunities, what did you say the strategy is called? Matching. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go to ask you another question. This is question number four now. Quickly. Okay. Question is there number four. A special name for this meet? Pardon? Come again. Is there what? Are you talking to us or someone else? I was saying, is there a special name for this matrix, like the the ones we were doing before? Is there a... It's called... No, I'm talking to you. TOS. So the oh, fourth okay. question is... Say, welcome. The fourth Thank question you, is... Uh, which way is the best to get there? I hope you have gone to the process and put the fourth question. Which way is the best to get there? Okay. Which way is the best to get there? Now, in the plan, you're going to say marketing program. You're going to put a marketing program. Okay, under the tools, uh, you're going to put uh, four P's plus three P's. Four P's plus three P's. Now, when we say four P's, uh, you remember the marketing mix issues? What's the first P? Who can you tell us the first P quickly? Thank you. Product. Then the second P? Price. Price. Thank you. The third P? Promotion. Good. The fourth? Okay. The fourth P? Promotion. Please. Please. Good. Please. The fifth P? Now we want to add the other three. The fifth P? P? Okay, I will mention it then. The quietness means the, uh, nobody wants to make an attempt. Uh, the, the, the fifth uh, P among those the three is people. And the sixth process. The seventh Physical evidence. Physical evidence. Now, you only add the three. I should not say only. Mainly, you add the three when you're dealing with it, a service organization or a service-oriented organization, like those selling insurance uh, products, uh, selling uh, funeral products and things like that, then you can uh, add the, the three, the other three. People, process, and physical evidence. Physical evidence because, you know, uh, physical evidence because uh, you do not see the product physically. But how would you prove that you received this service? Let's take example. Uh, now what I'm giving to you is educational service. So it's a service. The question is, 
what evidence do you need to have in order to show that uh -uh, you went and you studied at Cavendish? You did your school at Cavendish. What could be the physical evidence for that? So you need to have a degree from Cavendish. Exactly. That degree is what you should work for. Then, because without that, five years down the line from here, uh, you are going to see that uh, nobody would accept if you don't show a certificate that you even went to school. <laughs> So you need that evidence, okay. Now, let's go to the, what, fifth question now. Fifth question, go to the process. In the fifth question, you're going to say, how do we ensure arrival? How do we ensure arrival? Yeah. How do we ensure arrival? Good. Under the column of plan, you should put a, <clears throat> uh, marketing implementation schedule. Or you can just call it implementation schedule. I don't know. Is it the, is it the Americans who said schedule? or and the British said schedule, or is it the opposite of each other? Whoever says what, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, you go to the, the two side. There you should write four W's plus four W's plus two H's plus two H's. Mm -hmm. Four W's plus two H's. Now you flip the page. We are, we want to explain what those stand for. Mm -hmm. Okay. The W's and the H's are actually questions, by the way. They what uh, some people call them journalistic questions. <laughs> yeah. So what I want you to do is draw a table draw a table with six columns. Each of those columns would will be W, 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 then H, H. Uh -uh, H, H is not a Hekajila. What's his name? What's, what's his name, that gentleman? It's not about H, H, president, you know, of you, a uh, political party, no. Those are question uh, question marks as well. So the first W, I don't mind the other Ws how you arrange them, but the first one must always the same be the same. Who can guess what could be the first question we can ask ourselves? Which is the first column? Could it be white? white. Good. Who who said that? Could it be white? Uh, could it be white? Wa, wa, what? Why could it be what? What? Maybe it's Yes, Emmanuel. It's the question that comes in, in into everyone's mind. Oh, first of thing you ask is what? What is this? Hey. Okay, you can't say why is this. <laughs> you first of all you say what is this before you can ask why is this yeah, okay i like that thank you emmanuel or oh, do you want to be called emma <laughs> i know sir my dad says people that go emma are... <laughs> hey now what <laughs> I know. Okay. anyway you will tell me one day when we meet so Put the first column there. What? That means activity. So you put, when you say what, down it, you should say activity. 
or activities? So the first question we want to identify is what activities are we going to do? So you go to put one activity number one, activity number two, activity number three, just like that. Who can tell us the next W quickly? Why? No, Frida, the question why, it doesn't arise there because why is answered in marketing objectives. So you don't answer it in the, yeah. Oh, others are muted, they are writing, printing, uh, sharing, hey, let me see that, okay. Others, they, have, they cannot unmute themselves. Eh? Okay, like Francis says, he wants to ask, the first question he wants to ask is, the second question rather he wants to ask is, when? It's okay. I will tell, let's take it that way. So when are you going to do that activity? Under the, the column when, you should put period. Period. This is coincide with what you are calling as a time bound. So when are you going to do that activity? What period? Good, the next W, quickly. Where? Where? Hey, what did you say, Susan? Um, where? Oh, where, okay, yes. Where, and under where you should, not under where. <laughs> Where you're saying where down there you should say uh, location or place where that uh, activity was going to take place. And somebody typed already saying the other one is who. Under who you're going to say uh, responsibility. Responsibility. So you have then activity, the period is going to be done, the location where it's going to be done, and who is going to do it? A responsible person. And please, we insist that instead, don't just put position of people to say marketing manager is going to do this, this. No, put individual individual's names. Sorry, sir. Sorry yes. to cut you. So what did you say is the last W? Who? Okay. Thank you. And who stands for then, uh, gift? Yes, sir. It stands for who? I mean, who stands for what? Who is going to do it? Uh -huh. And we call it what? I didn't get you, sir. Okay, we call it responsibility. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, who is going to be responsible for that particular, uh, particular activity? Okay, so okay let's you. go to the two H, H's. The first H. Why? <laughs> so I think the first one is how. Okay. Uh, but Mamatha, why did you say why when you uh, talk about H? Uh, I said how. H how. It wasn't me who said why. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, Masawa. So the, the first H is method and techniques that are going to be employed. Okay, good. So we call it how, because then we are talking about the methods or techniques. Thank you. Quickly. Thank you. The last H. Uh, we are looking at uh, how much costing uh, for okay. the action. Yes. Sir. Good. How much will it cost us? Then you have your table there. And that table ladies and gentlemen, must appear in your physical document. It must appear under that uh, heading that we have just put as it. it. That's a schedule, actually. That table is a schedule of the activities. So what was the last H? How much, I guess. Okay. That's what the people said. And how much it simply means costing. Okay, so thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so the, let's go to the last question. The last question is, did we arrive? 
did we arrive? Good. Did we arrive? Okay. Then uh, under that, in uh, the plan, column for the plan, you should then call it uh, uh, marketing controlling or control mechanism. Marketing control mechanism. Marketing control mechanism. Then in the in the la in the question two no 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 in the tools you should call it um, SPC SPCA SPCA mm -hmm. Okay, you flip the page again and you draw another table. Now this time that, that table should have four apartments. Four apartments. Now, the first part column is S, and S stands for standard. Standard. Simply means, uh, you know, when you, you will have activities, before you give uh, people to implement or to work on that activity, it's important to give them a standard. What your expectation would be. For example, you would say, we want you to, be, to bring in 50,000 kwacha every week. That's a standard. Or we want you to be working 12 hours in a day. <laughs> That's a standard. You see? Yeah. So there must be some standard of any kind. Those are just extreme examples, but they must be standard. Let's go to the next one, which is the next column, P. P is performance. Thank you. Now, people ought to work. And performance, it means you've got to give them tools eh? that they have to work. Because you have set standards for them. So give them means to perform. Enable them to, to do the job. And as they are performing, working, you do a third column, which is a C. You do a third column, which is a C. And this C stands for checking or monitoring. This is where sometimes the supervi supervision comes in now. <laughs> yeah, the aspect of how, how do you want to be checking? Do you want to stand on their back or you just be re reading reports or how do you want to do it? Depending on the job, anyway, the type of a job. Now, like if it's salespeople, ah, salespeople, you depend mainly on their report because they're always in the field unless you chase after them. <laughs> how, do, how you do that, I don't know. Good. Now, uh, after you check, what's the purpose of checking? You want to compare their performance with the standard. That's the whole idea. You want to compare the performance with the standard. If the performance was very good, it is above, say, you, you told them to be bringing 50,000, and the guys are bringing 60,000. What could you say of that? Well, they have uh, performed above the standard that you set, the target that you set. So, 
what do you do? You still need to do column number four. Column number four is called the action, collective action that you need to take, action. So the question you have is, what action are you going to take? Yeah. If they have overperformed, you are going to uh, action is to give them bonus here to praise them or what or are you going to say no i think we have um, set a low standard if every every week they are bringing skiste uh we move and adjust that standard to skiste instead of fifth it means they have that capability to do that the opposite can be true also Instead of a standard of 50,000 kwacha per every week, they are bringing in 40,000. They are underperforming. So now you go to start, after you check, what is the corrective measure that we can do? Maybe you can say, no, I think uh, 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 I think we, we, we need to, 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 to equip them, to train them, and things like that. OK. By the way, this is in the, in the in the plan. It's item number what now? I was not following the items. Is item number what? This marketing control mechanism for those must be nine. Number nine. Then this one I I skipped. Then I must have skipped one. I will I'll go back just on top there. I don't know where you can squeeze it, but it's it's not very difficult. Remember we said the last H was how much? And we did, we called it costing, eh? Yeah. So now when you accumulate all the costs, or you add all the costs for the all activities and other related costs for that period, you come up with what you can call you call a budget so a budget must be number nine then this marketing control put it in number 10. to ensure that you arrive you must have implementation schedule as well as a budget how have i remembered you remember i said we need to when people are performing you need to equip them you need to support them that's when i remember that but if you don't have a budget how are you going to support them so you need a budget so that's uh, on which one are we talking about we are talking about are the budget talk right? no i mean are we talking of question number four are we going back to question number four number five <laughs> Yeah, you said standards, performance, checking, or monitoring no, action. No. The, that one is answering question number six, the last question. The last question is number six called, did, did we arrive? The one I want you to add is where we say, how can we ensure arrival? I said, we need implementation schedule as well as a budget these two things so a budget must appear also in the in the plan as number nine and then number 10 marketing uh, control mechanism have you realigned that susan yes sir okay and the rest of others i guess now because they are quiet, it means it's... Uh, is anybody who has not uh, realigned them that way? Yes, sir. Uh, can you just go through, like, from the top? I, 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 my network, uh, like, my band was depleted when we were on, 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 on three. So I didn't get question four. I rejoined when we were talking about the quiz. So I didn't get to, to, to rearrange them properly because... Uh, I just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on me, like the ones I've written. So I don't know the other two. I don't know if the other two are on question on, on the fourth question. Number seven is uh, number seven in the marketing plan. What is it called to you? Uh, 
Emma, it's called what number seven? I'm saying for me, since I didn't write question four, the seventh one is marketing control. But the budget one has indicated it on the fifth one. No, so how did you put it when you knew that? How did you put it number seven when you, when you knew that? Oh, I was off and I've, I've skipped. So I've just left space there. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Before marketing control, what did you have on top? That's where I've put budget, then market, then marketing implementation schedule. Uh, uh, you you have jumped up the whole thing, man. Yeah, you've jumped up the whole thing. You can't just, you know, that's a template, eh? You it follows one another, and it's very very important. You just don't just jump mumbo jumbo them. But oh, I yeah. so me I only I have that. eight. I only have eight of those things. Okay. Can we like just mention all of them on the plan, like from one? Yes, we are going to do that. But before we do that, let's finish them first. Those of you that are following, let's say go to number number eleven. Yeah. Number eleven is the appendix. Appendix. Appendix at or appendices. This is where you put in the That's evidence. Okay. This is where you put your evidence of uh, some details that you may not have uh, included in the plan. For example, you need to put in the appendix things like your quotations. If you went to get quotations somewhere or you went to get a, uh, you went to get a, a, a research report or you get a, some details of any kind that are not included including references how can you convince us for example that you did focus for your market you have segmented your market this way yeah so those are details that you put in the appendix That's the item number 11. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess that's 11. Now, let's go back. And this is the way we are going to go back and do everything now. We have finished. Uh, we have finished. Uh, uh, the questions from question one up to question number six. Now. Let's go back. Remember, in the beginning, we had left uh, item one and item two. We started on item three. So those two are still blank on top. Let's now revisit them. Why did we leave them blank? Because you write them last. But, yeah, you, 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 you write them last, but then you put them on top. Okay, then you put them on top. So, what can we put on in number two? Which we, we write last, but then we're going to put it on two. And the purpose for that is it gives us, it gives the reader just a glimpse of uh, what you expect inside the plan. Who can tell us what could that is be? Is it a, a prologue? Come again? Sorry, a prologue. A prologue. Mm, yeah. Is it the religious? See, where you are talking about the prologue? Next time you are going to tell me it's a dialogue. <laughs> you are so saying it's it's a business. So what do you, what do you call it there? Good. Brighton says executive summary. So number two, put executive summary. Please don't write executive summary before you write the whole 
plan. Me, I've seen this even in research that students write. They will write first the abstract or a summary. Then you start wondering, where did they get the summary before the body? <laughs> so don't do that. Okay. Then the top one actually is just a sort of like a title page, the number one. So item number one, you call it a title page. This is where you're going to say a marketing plan for Cavendish University for a period of 20, 2021, 2022, for example, or 2020, 2021, uh, prepared by Michael Nawa or whoever, yeah, as marketing manager. That's it. Then you're going to send it that way. Okay? That's the way in which you, 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 you'll be able to write that one. Now, let's look at that Sarah, template now. Question. Sure. You said that um, number two and number one, we write them last, but they have to but appear at them. the top. Yes. Okay. Why do they have to appear on top? Um, and why do you have to, to write them last? I think because for the executive summary, you have to summarize what you've put in the body. So you can't start exactly. summarizing information. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. And why should it be on top? Um, I don't know. <laughs> It, it, it give, uh, maybe other, somebody has got an answer quickly. Why are we putting it yeah, on top? I think, I yeah. think it's because um, it's, it prepares somebody's mind. I mean, it gives a glimpse of what's in, in, the, in the plan. Good. Like what, you, yeah. what you expect to find there. Yeah. Yes. It, it, it quickly answers the major issues that they are found in there, actually. Because, you know, mostly okay. our, our, our bosses on top there, they might not read everything what is there. They will just read that and they will say, oh, they will know, says, okay, this is approved, not approved. 